So today we're gonna to look at what to do when uh, you get oil in your cylinders, or basically when you transport this motor and you put it onto the wrong side. Uh, I'm sure you noticed before all these motors have a sign that says this side up so that the tiller side goes down, tiller touches the ground. Um, or you could store it normally like this if you hook it onto a rack in the boat trailer. Uh, but all too often, you know, uh, rowers are carrying it or something and it's carried on the wrong side or it's left lying on the wrong side and oil gets into the cylinders as well as the intake manifold. So we'll go ahead and look at what to do to uh, at least clear out your cylinders and your spark plugs. We'll take the, uh, the spark plug socket that came with the motor in the uh, spare parts kit. It's really the only one uh, that's going to be able to fit in there because it has such a thin wall in such a tight spot here. So we're just going to go ahead and remove our spark plug uh, boots there. And um, how you would know if you had oil that leaked into the cylinders, you'd either see it running all over the motor or you uh, would go to start the motor and you'd confirm it's neutral and everything, but it still just wouldn't pull. It's just Basically, it's hydraulically locked. The piston's trying to move up and compress air, but there's oil there instead, so it can't compress the oil. So we'll go ahead and remove our uh, spark plugs. Not the uh, best tool around, but it does work. We'll just break them free. We want to remove both of them. Oil will get into both cylinders, and typically more oil gets into the lower cylinder. And if that's quite, that's not quite a long enough for you there, you could just use uh, something to extend that. Uh, the best thing that would work really is a some sort of a socket on an extension or maybe a, a deep socket. I'll try a short socket here. And there we go. Just enough to break it free. You can reach in there and just with your fingers back out each spark plug. Now, typically, uh, you would see oil across the spark plug gap. So you would, uh, and you'd see oil all fouled around your spark plug. So the one thing you'd want to do is clean this out by spraying some ether or carburetor cleaner, preferably ether or starting fluid around your spark plug, just to clear out that gap, make sure it's totally open. We don't have any oil in the cylinders on this motor, so this looks good to us. This motor's really only run for actually a few minutes in its whole life. Uh, so it looks good there. We'll go ahead and take our top one out. We would do the same thing. We would just spray right between the uh, electrode and the grounding probe there. Make sure we get it totally cleared out, that there's just nothing but air in between there and there's no excess oil. And then the next thing we would do is make sure everyone's clear from this side, go in front of our motor and pull the cord. As we pull the cord, it's gonna shoot tons of oil. It should have no compression, so pull very easily. And it's gonna shoot tons of oil out through your spark plug holes. It's just going to blow it all over the place. So be ready um, with some sort of a pail or something to catch it uh, so it doesn't go all over the ground. But make sure no one's staying in front of it. It's not going to spray them. It uh, will travel quite far. And uh, just a couple of big pulls uh, until there's no more oil coming out of the cylinders. Pull it, you know, 10, 15, 20 times, as many times as you need to. And uh, pull it quite quickly to really shoot the oil out. And then uh, you can go ahead and reinstall your spark plugs. Spark plugs go to about uh, 20 foot-pounds of torque or so. So if you're not familiar with a foot-pound of torque, what that means is if you had a one-foot bar or one-foot ratchet, 20 pounds applied to the tip of it, so that's how tight. If you had a six-inch bar like this little guy, then you would need 40 pounds. And take a little bit of this dielectric grease and just spray, put a little bit, not even spray, but it just kind of oozes out there. Put a little bit on the tip of each spark plug. And that just ensures a nice, uh, nice connection between the boot and the spark plug itself. It also prevents uh, some of the corrosion and anything like that in between there since there's so much electricity that jumps through the gap, helps the electricity jump a little bit more, and help the motor run a little smoother. So to start this motor up, we'll uh, push in the throttle only button. That'll provide a little bit more air by opening up the throttle plate. We won't pull the choke on or give it any fuel because there's already oil inside those cylinders or a little bit of excess. So that's uh, provide some of the fuel. So it's gonna be running a little rich at first. And you can expect a lot of smoke to blow out through uh, the prop or to bubble up from, uh, from the water at first. Just run it at medium RPM, about uh, a quarter to half throttle for a while to really clear out all that excess oil. Then once you uh, suspect that it's all cleared out, you can go back to idle and see if the motor idles normally. 
If you notice oil coming out around the carburetor or through your intake or anything like that, you've probably had some of that oil travel through the intake here into the carburetor and foul up the carburetor. Or another way to tell would be once you do get the motor running and you, uh, you try to run it at lower RPM and it just doesn't run, it's probably been fouled up with oil and there's oil in the bowl and through the jets. And you can watch our other video of how to take apart the carburetor and clean it all out and just clean out the, all the oil and gunk. Um, it doesn't destroy the motor or anything like that when you get oil in the cylinders or from putting it on the wrong side, but just creates this process where you have to clear all the oil all the cylinders and then start it with just a little bit of throttle plate open. We'll go ahead and give it a big pull here. expect uh, when you go to start up from uh, having oil inside the cylinders. It's just overly rich, so you have to pull it several times, get air flowing through there until we go back to our perfect uh, symmetrical triangle with just enough air, just enough fuel, and of course spark from the spark plugs. Everything gets stoichiometric again, then it'll fire up. And just like we did, run it at higher RPM for a little bit till all the smoke clears away, and then you can go ahead and set it back to neutral. So hopefully uh, that helps you with any motors that have been left on the wrong side. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, shoot us a note on our website or leave it in the comments below. Best of luck to you and thanks for watching.